Hello everybody, welcome to the the final the round match number 32 of the fir the first round of the CCL 45. We've got Ruzi and his Norse, so we all hope he loses, versus Hesdon and Lizardmen. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello. Hello everybody. Here we have a very well developed lizard team versus uh, Ajeti and his friends. <laughs> yeah. Instant armor break from the rookie Lino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it, and the the Norse have induced ice pelt hammer blow, and that's their only inducement. But uh, he's he's all right, isn't he? Strength six with a claw, that helps. Like that helps a lot, really, against all this strength. Oh yeah, it's it's a crazy team, isn't it? Yeah, he's got three strength five so Like he's got three strength five players. Um, and and uh, and a skin with a strength three too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But only only two guard, which is that got that got the uh, terrific, the terrific seal of disapproval. <laughs> I mean, why you need guard? You have a strength five on all your pieces. Is the, you know, uh, you wanna to be anything on the game anyway? Yeah, it is, it is pretty easy to get two Ds when you've got three strength five. No, he. he he just doesn't. He doesn't have. Uh, he doesn't have wild animal, and he has thick skull. Probably, probably a Rick favorite. <laughs> Ooh, God! Did he really just hit forward? No, I think he has wild animal and he was trying to hit the. Yeah, but he hit forward with this one. What the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh dear! Well, I'm that glad I'm. Wolf Warrior with Blotch Guard stand firm. Only one of the skills I think is all right to have on on Wolf Warrior. <laughs> God, it's certainly not right to do what he just did. What the? What was? What? Rusi must be a wild and crazy guy. Like, he, uh, even ignoring the frenzy trap, just push you could have pushed him into the claw mighty. Like, if you'd hit this one, like, that's what. Well, not claw mighty, claw all the mighty is what I meant to say, because, you know, the. the Zerka was here, so. Like, wow. Instead of setting up extra blocks with claw. <laughs> he uh, he nearly frenzy trapped himself. Or, or going for a foul with a dirty player that for some reason is somewhere else and already used. Yeah. Oh, he's got, he's got another one. Another one. Then move that line, man, and get the boot going. Oh, he's going straight in, straight in with the uh, with another frenzy trap. Is it? <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to achieve based in a strength. Oh, here comes, here comes straight the... in with another frenzy trap. Oh, a two into a one, but still. <laughs> Rusey is an absolute madman. He's just a full on madman. <laughs> I think he could have blitz upwards the strength fight to push him downwards so he could foul him. Yeah, that wouldn't have been as bad as that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, PC. It was a frenzy opportunity. Wait, there was a fouling opportunity. And he ends his first turn of player down. Good. <laughs> I'm not really, obviously, I'm not really hating on Rusey, uh, but you know. My, my, uh. <laughs> the, other team, the other team is a disgusting lizard team, so it's not like, you know. Not gonna get any favor here. Yeah, my, my 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 problems with Norse have been well documented. <laughs> That's alright. Uh, I hate lizards as much as you hate Norse. Oh, brilliant! I think this is a Ming Max team, embarrassing with only two players and a, and, and a crocs figure that shouldn't be there. Norse in real life and just beat them. What the hell is this thing? Seven string life. four uh, players around with movement six. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, Phineas. No, yeah, <laughs> I love us too. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely. That was definitely it. Oh, he's gone stupid. Doesn't he just blitz this guy and then and then, oh no, he can't blitz them both. Ooh, he really wants to blitz him, doesn't he? But he can't get the assist. Does he chain? Yeah. 
Can he get the three? Yeah, can he? No, not really. This is tricky. This is tricky to deal with a string six here. Maybe if he had more guard, he'd be all right. Way, <laughs> way. <laughs> Maybe he can blitz the other than the old splodge. Oh god. I have, yeah, I've refunded a bunch of points because, uh, like, you know, people hadn't got, you know, title shots and shit and, and wrestlers built, so I just thought I'd, uh, I'd refund them and then if people want them again, they can get them again, like, you know, and if they, if they're not, if they don't care anymore because it was eight months ago. <laughs> <laughs> then I won't have to make the character, <laughs> basically. No, oh, here we go. Yep, not making the blitz on him. Is he gonna one D? Is he gonna one D helmet? Not helmet. What is he? Ice pelt. I don't know why I said helmet. Yes. Yes. Get him down. Did have block. Wasn't terrible. And he has 2D also with the skink on the lineman there. Yep. Standard game against Armour 7. <laughs> God, I really hate them. Like, I, I genuinely hate them because they just try to dice you like that is their only game plan. They just hope for an absolute dicing. <laughs> Yuck. And now it's time for the dodges. Yeah, well, for the dodge with the diving tackle uh, skink. Yeah, I guess he's thinking how much does it help him, you know, having him there to stop him going in hard on the strength five of the, of the guard, but uh, he might keep him there. He's got 30 seconds. Just move him one square. Yeah, that's the square. Yeah, I, th I think it was worth it, yeah. And then where, what did he do? His strength three leaves him, leaves him behind for frenzy opportunities. <laughs> He's only taken one claw hit, which is what he wants, isn't it? He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to endure too many claw hits. Is he going for the croxigor? Yeah, claw bite on his Yeti, isn't it? So the Yeti is a better blitzer than Ice Pelt, but he's got to roll the 2 plus to do it. But then his other alternative is to roll a 4 plus, so he's going to blitz with a Yeti every single turn, I would imagine. Problem is, if he can, like, if he's, he's, got to, he's also got to protect Ice Pelt, hasn't he? So maybe he'll, uh, Maybe that will change things somehow. He can move the line behind the skins. Hit the Croxigor up. Yep, here we go. Blitzing the skinks, he's red red it. <laughs> he said, just blitz a skink every turn and you'll kill them all in four turns and then you'll win. Doesn't kill it, unbelievable. Uh, Ice Pelt's pretty expensive, like re really quite expensive. Um, I don't know how much, but I would imagine about 290 or something. I have no idea what SR player is good enough. I don't know what other options were there. Oh yes, JG Cheney. Cheney should have been better. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. He, he never, he's never really very good because you can get Cheney for cheaper. So like, I mean, he might even be over 300. Like, you can go more expensive and get Morg, or you can go cheaper and get Cheney. So, like, he's he's in a we he's in a really really weird spot. But I guess the thing is, it's the strength, right? The thing is, Cheney is better than Ice Belt. But oh, three thirty. There you go. Even more expensive. Thank you, PC. Like, he's got three strength five, right? So I guess he's thinking, get a strength six, and then you can, uh, and also an extra claw, right, against those things. I mean, obviously, Cheney's got claw. But it's a lot harder for Cheney to hit with strength four against these three. Gigantic men. So, uh, so just go for, uh, just go for the strength. So I guess, I guess it's one of the rare situations where maybe it isn't that terrible. Maybe he's not that terrible. The fact that he's, you know, he is strength out strength. So ridiculously by lizards. Maybe not terrible, and that's all you can say about a star player. It's not. <laughs> it's not good, is it? <laughs> 
Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it really, it genuinely is the thing. Like, he hasn't got much guard of his own, has he? He's only got two guards. So Cheney isn't. He's pretty puny, yeah, versus this lizard team. It's a monster lizard team. Monster, monster. Yeah, that orc team, yeah. <laughs> What a comeback that was, wasn't it? The old team, Un unreal. Yeah, but he would have bleed size uh, yeah, with the Yeti, the Croxigor. Up. But he also attacks uh, a lot of players there. Yeah. And he had an easy foul. If he wanted. Yeah. But now the Lizards are absolutely bullied in a small square. <laughs> 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 the whole team. I think it's not going to last because there is uh, some roles that could uh, help uh, a lot the lizards, like for example that one, or oh, there's armor 8! No problem at all PC, of course, of course no problem. It was, it was just the muting, you know, like it was just that I had to mute you in case uh, whatever was going on in your real life was uh, was private, so that, like, that was the only bad thing, like, you know, concern for you. <laughs> like how bad would it be how bad would it be if like you know <laughs> you go off and start getting a blowy or something <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> yeah that would be terrible swear words wouldn't it but you know there could be something Something sensitive, didn't you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there you oh go. Oh my god. Not even mighty blow. And the apple fails. That's a dead jetty. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> and his team's even called happy apples for yeti, isn't it? <laughs> And there you go. <laughs> wow. Absolutely banged on. Armor 8 is what did him in. And it was just a normal, normal Saurus. That got him a level as well. That got him guard. Brilliant uh, play. Yep. If the, Norse, if the Norse coach hasn't dropped a GG already, he's already lost. <laughs> His only lifeline. <laughs> With that limited, that limited time period to drop the GG, and if it, if he is if that has got passed him by, he is done. <laughs> he just needs to play super safe now, doesn't he? Yeah, has done. Just needs to go super super safe. No, I don't like that a large third. I, I, I don't like the muting. Um, I will sometimes, it, it depends. They've got, to, they've got to already be a little bit tilted before you drop the muted, right? That's the thing. Or, if they've been talking to you, then you drop the muted later. Oh my god. Wow! <laughs> you know, you, the, the muted is also a tactical muted. You, you've, <laughs> yeah, you, the muting has to be tactical. Other, otherwise, otherwise, you're just looking like Elliot with your, you know, I can't handle a chat. I can't handle a chat. You're muted. That, that, that's not good. That's weak. That's a, that's a weak chat game. But exactly, if, that's it. But if they've written like four insults at you, and then you go, then you write something, and then muted. By the way, <laughs> and they're pulling their hairs out. Uh, reported and follow muted. Please uninstall. <laughs> Yeah, that is Elliot's biggest weakness for sure. For sure, Elliot's biggest weakness is his chat game. Some might say only weakness. 
<laughs> but yeah. Yeah, very poor. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it, like if you mute, like that. That's like the the muting them but not telling them is like kind of the uh, is kind of the weak way, right? So like that's the thing. So if you if you tell them and don't, you need you need to get value out of that. You you know you need to realize you need to realize your chat equity. <laughs> yeah, exactly, large that, that that's the that's the tactical mute. If you just if you're just saying it for saying it, it's no good, and especially if you are muting them. Elliot style. Another hit though. Another push. Oh, this is wonderful to see. This is wonderful to see. Norse getting wrecked here. Concede! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you don't see this every day. My god! <laughs> Boy, howdy! Well, uh, what's the name of the head? <laughs> North coach. <laughs> Time to get a three seasons break there. Yeah, you know, you know, whoever wins, whoever wins Chalice this season, Ruzi is the true winner because he doesn't have to play for three seasons now. <laughs> okay, wow. Ruzi. Oh, well, oh, and we have Gideon in chance, so probably yes. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. not very difficult. <laughs> Kerrion might have spotted it. <laughs> there is a chance. There is a chance that the, the management of the CCL have uh, watched this. Wow! Wow! I mean, wow! Why are you talking, Purple Chase? That Rassi could create another uh, coach and start playing with that? <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Um, <laughs> hello, firstborn, just in time to see it end. <laughs> yeah, PC. It wasn't even that much of a dicing, right? Look, two armor breaks to one armor break. Like, okay, the one armor break did leave, did lead to the 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 uh, essentially the death of his yeti, which he had named his. He's called his team Apo for Yeti, and then his yeti was cast, and the <laughs> and the Apo didn't work. But he just had some bad dice. I have to say that at least the North team had hundred percent ball possession. Yeah. Oh, his dawn was a pain to get hold of. Ah, so like scheduling, that's why they were playing like the last second. And he just made, oh, okay, so like maybe he didn't really have like, maybe it was an awkward time for it, Ruzi, and he just like, he just thought for Yeah, this. maybe Raz is playing uh, at Gavainic times. Yeah. yeah like saying, I'm true, not doing right? this. I'm not doing this. Okay, <laughs> fuck off. You know, I fell out, played a game at like 3 a.m. or something because the dude was American and that was, uh, you know, I guess if I'd got diced, I, and like obviously the dice weren't that bad, but they feel worse, don't they? So like obviously, like he, he made a foul and got sent off. None of his hits were working, and so you know he probably it obviously felt worse to him than it actually was. But uh, yeah, if it was, very like, good, it it was very difficult to win. His team was going to be destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was the writing was on the wall. Like I mean, you know, Elliot would ban you if you said it was over, but it was. It was looking pretty bad. <laughs> Um, oh dear! Right. Anyway, that well, there you go. That that was the match. At least it was. At least it's a quick one for the YouTubes. <laughs> you know, I mean, real commiserations for Ruzi because obviously he must have been proper pissed off, must not he? Um, it must be absolutely massive. Be something. Uh, who knows? Maybe who knows what's going on in the chat there? You know. Yeah. Well, well, what's going on in his life as well? You know. So like, you know, no offense to Ruzi and that. You know, and I like, obviously I, I like to joke about how I hate Norse and Norse coaches, but it is just a joke, and you know, nothing personal against him. Yeah, I know. I, I hope he was just he was angry, tired, and say, you know what? I'm not this. That's it. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big supporter of uh, allowing people to concede in early more situations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And congratulations for Hesdon. And uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, great of you to join me for t all the 20 minutes. <laughs> what a game. What a game. <laughs> uh, Chalice history here. I think it's the second time I see a concede. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.